Are you serious? Are you serious? The water's turning red. The water's turning red like blood in Russia. A red blood river the same day of a super blue blood moon? What? I told you, you have to watch these days. And also there was a 6.1 earthquake in Afghanistan and a bizarre train crash in Virginia with U.S. lawmakers, U.S. congressmen and their wives and family on board, including the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, and the driver in the dump truck on the train wouldn't get out of the train. He just sat there. He sat there until he was hit and he's dead. Was he dead already? Well, wait a minute, let's go to the water turning blood red in Russia because this is a huge biblical sign in the Bible, in the book of Revelation. It's huge that this is happening at the same time. This is an apocalyptic, apocalyptic sign of the end times. And I'll be in Revelation chapter 8 in a moment. But red alert, red alert. The blood river has mystified the experts in Russia. Matter of fact, the water turns a sinister shade of crimson and experts say they can't work out or can't even figure out what's causing it. Matter of fact, uh, the waters, some people are afraid maybe it's pollution, but uh, and could it be affecting the drinking water in the city of uh, Tayumen in Russia? But we're still waiting on toxicology. Uh, they got to hurry. The waters of this river uh, and I'll put the information below. You can look at the link. I'll put the link to it right now below. Of course, the sun is reporting this, doing a great job, but uh, it's really strange. It's fears that this could be pollution, but they don't know what's causing it. You can see the snow all around it, but the river's running blood red right through it. Red river running through white snow. I mean, there's even a scripture in the Bible that says, Come to the Lord. Come, let's reason together. Thus saith the Lord, though your sins be as red as scarlet, I'll make them as white as snow. This is unbelievable. Well, the river is blood, running blood red. People are very concerned, according to the Siberian Times as well. The village is there, stunned, shocked. Uh, it's undescribable. It's, it's absolutely unfathomable. But this is the 34th time now that water has turned blood red since the water turned blood red in Texas back in uh, 2011. So what does the Bible say about this? Well, in Revelation chapter 8, the scripture says this. It talks about an asteroid. It talks about a, a potential asteroid or a deep impact uh, and water turning like wormwood. But it says in Revelation 8.8, 8, and the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea that had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And a third angel then sounded, and it fell great star from heaven, okay, burning as it was a lamp. And a third part of those rivers and fountains of waters turned to wormwood turn bitter radiation poisoning but in revelation chapter uh, 16 there's another reference to the water turning blood red you can find it in revelation 16 um, verse 3 and it will happen during the times of the mark of the beast as well or leading up to the mark of the beast in verse 3 it says and the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And a third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and upon the fountains of waters, and they became blood. So the wormwood effect, the bitterness, the poison, the death, and the disease that will come from this. We know the water turned blood red. That was one of the first plagues, the first plague, when Moses... During the Exodus, when he led the children of Israel out of bondage into the promised land, is God sending us a prophetic sign on this super blue blood moon? He sent a 6.1 earthquake to Afghanistan, a 5.7 quake 
shook things up down in Panama with quite a, with several more aftershocks. A mysterious train crash uh, affecting some of the top lawmakers in America and the rivers running blood red in Russia. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy, but certainly this is some dangerous, dangerous times. We're on the, we're on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. Something biblical is going on, folks, with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And let me just say this. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing a live show with my guest, David Mead. David Mead, who's predicting Planet X will be visible, bringing the apocalypse in October of 2018. Are you serious?